What is ignorance? Ignorance is a willful act. You are willfully ignoring what is obvious, yet you decide that it doesn't exist. For example, ignorance is mostly used, the word, in the context of religion and God. Typically, it refers to the ignorance of the existence of God. Now this is a willful act on the part of the um, so-called unbelievers. I say so-called unbelievers because belief is not really required to see that God exists. If you just look around you, the level of organization that is required to produ produce this amazing array of life forms just on this one planet should be ample proof and evidence of the existence of a higher organizing intelligence. Now, I'm, I am not saying that God is an old guy with a beard sitting on a throne somewhere and looking down on creation and you know, dashing out judgments on everybody. That's not who I'm talking about. And he does not exist. The God that do exists is life itself. And this life is intelligent on its own. It does not require life forms for its existence. Just the, the contrary, life forms depend on life for their existence. So life existed before creation happened, the visible creation. And life in itself is intelligence, a very subtle and powerful intelligence so my dear fellow human beings to ignore 
to willfully ignore that intelligence is required before any kind of organization of life forms can take place. That is the seed of ignorance. And all further errors come out of this ignorance. So how can we deny the existence of God when all around us there is proof of its work and continued work because all of this needs maintenance. Creation didn't just happen a long time ago and then God was done and then he rested and he hasn't done anything ever since. That is a fairy tale. Creation requires maintenance and some forms have to be destroyed and dissolved and new forms come into existence and they have to be man maintained. The Indian religions are very clear on this. They have a threefold concept of God, which is the creator, the maintainer, and the destroyer. Now destruction in this sense is not negative or evil because forms form of, of, of form of lives forms of life are being destroyed or they are in the process of change and they go back to the unmanifest dimension and then new forms more improved versions of this of those forms appear and take the place of what was destroyed or disappeared or extinct. Mm. Excuse me. So we can talk about this uh, process in a threefold concept. Creation, maintenance and destruction. But really this is the same process. It is just one thing, one loop, if you will. There is the manifest dimension and there is the unmanifest dimension. And the unmanifest, of course, controls the manifest dimension. So, it is amazing to me that anyone can ignore this, which is plainly visible in everyday life, and say that God does not exist.
Now willfully ignoring something as large as life itself being intelligent is creating a darkening in your being this effectively equates to you cutting off your own life force now here I am mainly talking about the um, atheists and when you cut off this force of life um, that does not mean your body will wither away it mainly means that your perceptions will be erroneous and the more you believe in this theory in your ignorant views the more you will see proof of that you are right because your intelligence is withering away life is intelligence God is intelligence and God supplies everybody with life force so this is not in anybody's interest to cut themselves away from their own source of life their own source of intelligence and the other problem is <clears throat> that these atheists they also operate on a belief system because they have no proof that God does not exist their proof is, is their own ignorance willful ignorance so as you can see this is a cir uh, vicious circle that they got themselves into So, <clears throat> to believe that life came on into existence by random convergence of molecules in the primordial ocean by accident or a chance is completely delusional. even if it happened that way somebody had to some higher intelligence had to make it that way
So these people <clears throat> operate on a belief system just like religion. In fact, they believe, instead, they believe in the opposite. They believe there is no God. And they think that intelligence is a factor of the body. It is not. Intelligence is prior to the body, and intelligence controls the body. So, my dear atheists out there, you are living in an erroneous state of mind. And this state of mind prevents you from any kind of spiritual evolution. You're not only going to get stuck wherever you are in your state of mind, eventually you are going to go downhill and worst case, um, you will become insane. I am sorry to say, but that is the ultimate result of rejecting God and your own life force and your own intelligence. higher intelligence. It is like a fish swimming in the sea and telling everybody, I don't believe in the sea. I don't see any sea anywhere. It's crazy. What are you guys talking about? So you can see <laughs> that is quite a funny situation. So, this ignorance is also the problem in people not recognizing the unity of all life. Not only the unity of humanity on this planet, but the unity of all life everywhere in the universe. This is the only reason that some people can go as far as exploiting billions on a planet and making everybody become a slave to their ideas, to their version of success or life. These are very sick people and they have succeeded separating themselves 
from God and everything else. And all the suffering that they are causing will, will come back at them. Eventually. And all the people who are helping them, either willfully or by ignorance of the situation, they will also partake in the karma that they have created. So I am very sorry to say, but this is the situation on this planet. And if people don't wake up from their, their erroneous ways, it will get even worse and this planet will become a hell. where you will have no freedom and everybody will be a slave to the control system of the state. <clears throat> we are almost already there. But they want to tighten the control to the point where you can't even breathe without paying somebody. They will, they will find a way to sell you water, to sell you air, and every activity in your life will be taxed. And most people who work for corporations and the globalization of this planet are working towards this goal that the establishment have set out. So there is another type of ignorance. When you are ignoring the activities of the corporations and what kind of effect they have on the global scale and you are not researching this and you are ignoring even if you know what they are doing, you are ignoring them and keep working for them just to feed your family you are effectively helping them to enslave you your family your children and everybody else on the planet This is what's happening right now, on the grand scale. And people are not waking up fast enough. I am sorry to say. It is up to us, or they have already won. We have to wake up in a hurry and prevent what's happening. Stop it in its seed.
So, as you can see, ignorance of anything has a very detrimental effect on your life and everybody else around you. It is a crime. It is a crime of ignorance that is perpetrated on this planet for thousands of years.